I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome to the Spongebob video game. Now, I don't know what to expect from this game, but Spongebob was one of my favorite cartoons when I was a kid. The show actually came out a few days after my birthday in 1999. This came out in the beginning of May, and my birthday is at the end of April. So this came out a few days after my birthday, and I've loved Spongebob ever since. I heard that this game has references to episodes in the show. If it's from, like, the newer episodes, I have no clue what's gonna happen. But if it's stuff from the old episodes, I can't wait. But no more talking. We're just gonna jump right into it. If you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up! Cause here we go! Another perfect day playing robots and racehorses. Yeah. Only I keep getting the racehorses and the robots mixed up. Dude, this Wouldn't is like watching an episode of the, of the show. Wouldn't be robots to play with Patrick? I'd name mine Robo Jr. I don't know why I'm like Dormon. so giddy right now. Or maybe Franky. Yeah, these unreal robots are getting boring. Hey, what if we put the robots in here? Oh, how shellfish of you. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's not this is that kind of game, huh? Shell. It's my magic wishing shell. Is it the magic wow, punch? That's great, Patrick. So we put the toy robots in here. Okay. Then we say the magic wishing words and shake the magic wishing. <laughs> I love the way video game then Patrick we go looks. To sleep, and in the morning, we'll have real <laughs> robots to play with. With his perfect but ass Patrick, denture teeth. Aren't we going to say the magic wishing words? You already did. So, okay, is the magic wishing word? It used to be Alakazama Alabala Wisna Tikitana Fushbar Griddle Bits Von Schnauzer, but I kept forgetting it. Are you sure this'll work? Sure. Last week, I only had one big cookie crumb and I was really hungry. So I put my cookie crumb in the magic wishing shell. Then I said the magic wishing word and shook it. And in the morning, I had lots of little cookie crumbs. Patrick, I proclaim that tomorrow is going to be the best day ever. Good night, SpongeBob. Good night, Patrick. The next morning. <laughs> the next morning. A few moments gonna later. Gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with... Wow! Uh, Gary, did you do that? Meow. <laughs> My sister used to do a Gary voice all the time. We used to watch the show together, actually. Yeah, and she would Gary, always do... It meow. sure looks like we're in a doozy of a pickle. I think I'm gonna have to learn a lot in order to fix this mess. You know what? I'm gonna skip the tutorial and we're just gonna jump right into it. Never mind, guys. I guess the tutorial is an important part of the gameplay. So I have to collect 50 of these freaking rainbow reefs in order to progress. All right, this is cute. This, this is a real note cute. from Mr. Krabs. <sighs> and it even smells sweaty, just like him. Ahoy there, SpongeBob. That As doesn't the sound like Mr. Krabs. Of the Krusty Krab, you've been, er, uh, promoted. To head shiny object collector. Whose fake ass Mr. Krabs voice is that? Wow! A promotion! That's right! A promotion! So what this bro, here new job is is you I'm die hard, all dude. Shiny I'm die hard. Whose man's is this? And bringing them to me. That ain't my Mr. Krabs. That's Mr. Hermit or collector. something. That ain't Mr. Krabs. Press E when on the ground and SpongeBob will do a bubble bash attack. All right, let me see a bubble bash attack. Ooh. Hey. <laughs> What's up, baby girl? You guys like my bubble bash? Look at this, look at this. Oh, blow! Man, that's a BAM! You guys already know what I freaking do with my bubble bash, boy. You already know what I do with my bubble bash, boy. Like I said in the beginning of the episode, I want this game to be good so bad. Press left click and SpongeBob will do a bubble spin. All right, we know how to do a bubble spin. We know how to do a bubble spin. This game, man. Well, you know what? You know what? I just realized I'm a grown ass man and this game is meant for kids. So obviously they're going to teach them every single thing as if somebody has never played a video game before. All right, come on. Get up there, you pinche puta. Get up there, you pinche puta. Come on. Get up there, you puta pinche. Let's go. We got 166 of those coral things. I don't even know what it's called. If I'm supposed to understand where that's from, I have bola guys, guys. But let's unlock this room right here. Pay 50 shiny objects to access this area. You bet your mom's sweet ass I'm going to access it. All right, we got our golden spatula. And let's get out of here, guys. Like, I had enough of this. What's this? This is a golden spatula. Golden spatulas are needed to unlock new areas of Bikini Bottom. SpongeBob will collect many golden spatulas in order to find and defeat the source of the rampaging robots. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, Gary. I'll be back. 
Uh, kisses and hugs, because I love you. And let's freaking do this, guys. Oh, there's Mr. Krabs, or Mr. Krabs. Let's talk to him. SpongeBob, this flapping robot crisis is making the Krusty Krab lose money like that? a sinking ship. Bro, who no is money that? means no more Krusty Krab. We've all no seen more SpongeBob. Krusty Whose Krab man's is no this? More fry cooking for you. No more fry cooking? I don't even want to hear this guy's voice. But because you're gullible, I'm going to help you out. And of course, make a small profit in return. Dude, whoever's voice crabbing Mr. Pabs. What? Okay, so yeah, the goal of the game is just to get golden spatulas so I can defeat that raging boner robot army. Let's get out of here because Squidward clearly doesn't want us here. And I need to figure out what my actual objective is because I want to do like some cool missions. But wait, Patrick's right there. I just oh, bubble buddy. <laughs> bubble buddy. You see, you're going to need to learn bubble some buddy. new bubble boy moves <laughs> if you're going to journey to the ninth dimension and defeat the giant monkey man. But uh, all I need to do is figure out how to get rid of these robots. Oh, yeah, sorry. I've been in the soap bottle a little too long. Uh, where were we? Uh, something about new bubble moves. Sweet. Right. Press this button and you'll launch yourself straight up in the air with bubble power that defeats anything that is directly above you. Try it out. Okay, let's do it. Oh yeah, I've done that. I've been presents. knowing that. Come on, Bubble Buddy. Like, you gotta get with the times, bro. I've been knowing that move. Hold on, let me talk Don't to him. Don't forget to defeat robots or tiki's that are directly above you. Okay, dude. You know what? Stop telling me old ass information. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Let's see where else we can go because I want to do like a story mission or something. I'll give you bro, this better not be like a collecting game. You mean spatula? Like collect a hundred pubes and then you get something cool. Like I don't want to do that. I want to actually relive the show. Please tell me that's what we're gonna do. Please tell me that's what we're gonna do. Let's go to Patrick's house. I want to relive the show. I want to laugh we're at iconic moments from the show. No, I mean, like, see, life. that's cool. I like seeing stuff like that. I want to relive all the cool things. Like we know that Patrick has this. Like where's Marty? Where's Janet? Janet? Marty? Who are you, people? Have I ever told you guys what my favorite SpongeBob episode was? It's the bully one. You know where SpongeBob's in school, and then um, <laughs> he <laughs> he uh, gets a new classmate, <laughs> and his name is um, damn, what was his name again? I don't think his name's Stanley. Oh my God. His name was, um... We have a new student starting today, so let's all put on a happy face for Flats the Flounder. His name was Flats. And then SpongeBob introduced himself. He's like, hi, I'm SpongeBob. And then Flats was like, hey, SpongeBob, I'm going to kick your butt. And then, like, the whole episode, SpongeBob's super scared. Please, Patrick, I'm so scared. It feels like I'm going to throw up. But then at the end, I mean, spoiler alert. I mean, if you haven't seen it, then shut up, okay? So the spoiler alert is that um, SpongeBob is a sponge, obviously, and he can't get hurt. So he was just taking those punches. He was taking the freaking hits. My other favorite episode is when SpongeBob gets that one guy in jail. And then he says on the news, I think, that he'll get SpongeBob once he gets out of jail. And then the whole time, he, he's like trying to befriend SpongeBob. And yeah, guys, okay, let me let me just stop. Squidward, are you okay? No, I'm not okay, you barnacle head. Do I look like I'm okay? Well, your nose does look pretty big. Oh! According to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> King j j Jellyfish? Well, I guess you're off the scale, Dude, Spork Mountain. I have to go through this whole level. Under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You know what? At least we have an I'll objective. Stay here. At All least we can do something. Excruciating pain. You do that. Don't worry, Squidward. I'll bring back that King Jellyfish jelly for you to rub all over yourself. Ooh. Ooh. SpongeBob, now you're speaking my language. Okay. Let's bang down here. Did I say bang down here? Who am I? Who am I becoming? Oh, but da! That was the first time I ever hit a robot in this game. Felt good. Okay, I definitely see this as one of those games where you can just kill a bunch of time just by smacking things all over like this. There's not really much to it. I think that you're just hitting these things and you're just doing your thing and just enjoying the scenery. But I thought that it would be more of like a lot of jokes from the show. But all I see is just me just with my wang out. Another episode that I thought was really funny was when SpongeBob was taking the trash out while he was working at the Krusty Krab. 
and then on the back of one of the dumpsters, he saw a bad word. And then he was trying to figure out what it even meant. And I think that Patrick knew what it meant. So Patrick and SpongeBob started saying the bad word together. Keep in mind, guys, I haven't seen these episodes in years. So my memory is kind of fuzzy. But what the heck is this? Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. How am I going to do this? How am I going to do that? Ah! Oh! Wait, you're a sponge! Just soak the thing up! Come on, bro. You can't suck that thing up, SpongeBob. Wait, where am I? Oh, okay. But yeah, they found like a bad word on the back of the trash can. And I think I saw on YouTube, they uncensored it. And then the bad word was actually the F word. You know, why am I even, am I being too kid friendly? The F word? Like, I know what word that is, but I said the F word. Bro, if I don't get this spatula, F this. Bro, F this freaking game. Get that damn thing, dude! Am I not supposed to get it that way? Pay 125 shiny objects to rebuild this bridge? Of course. What else am I gonna do? Like, what else am I gonna use that thing on, huh? I'm gonna save it for my retirement fund or something? No, like, we're gonna build this bridge. I think as time went on, SpongeBob started to get a little bit too kiddie for me. Like, the jokes became dumb and less clever. When it was older episodes, you can clearly tell that there were a lot of adult jokes there that would go over your head as a kid. Mary! But then when you watch it again, you're like, oh, this show knew what it was doing when it said that. Like, I've seen a bunch of episodes. Like, for example, the one I was just talking about, where they say the bad word. When you're a kid, you're like, man, you know, there's no way they're actually saying a bad word. But then now, when you watch it, and then you realize how they were saying the bad word, you're like, they were definitely saying a bad word. Like, they, they, they were definitely dropping some F-bombs. That's a different voice actor, too. Wow, a bungee jump. For a golden spatula. <gasps> That's what it is. In. Okay, so I'm supposed to be bungee jumping. Alright, so I was doing it wrong the whole time. How do I actually do this? This is a bungee jump. SpongeBob can bungee from it. No, you think? To bungee from the bungee hook, just jump and touch it. To dive downward, press space. To exit the bungee hook, press right click. Okay. There you go. Just, you know, gave myself a wedgie. That's cute. That's nice. Let me just get all these. And yeah, we're good to go. I don't know why, but seeing him get a wedgie makes me want to fart really bad. I might actually fart right now. You guys hear that? No? Because it was silent? My butthole's loose? This is a slide. When SpongeBob, Patrick, or Sandy jump onto a slide, they will zip down the slope at hydrodynamic speeds. Okay. Oh, damn. All right. What'd that tongue do, Sponge? What'd that tongue do? Oh, you lick ass with that tongue? My bad, my G. Look at him. Oh, is that a preview? Let's get it, boy. I don't know about all that. He needs to get to Patrick to help him, but he's unreachable. Maybe these switches for you bitches will create a way. The robots are guarding them heavily. You have to battle through. Oh, no. What will I ever do? I'm playing, guys. This thing's too easy. Like, can I get an impossible mode? Can I get, like, a Dark Souls I mode or something? Like this is way too freaking easy. Look at this. Blah, blah. Come on, dude. Tear you up. I'm gonna tear you up. This thing's too easy. Hit that. And then, what did that do? What did that do once I hit that? Let me play as Patrick one time. Come on. Let me like be Pat back, back one time. Let me be Pat back just one time. Okay, jump on that. Hop on that. A little skippity of that. And nice, here we go. Whew. Thank goodness you're safe, Patrick. Well, of course, SpongeBob. Why wouldn't I be? Well, the robots and the... Bro, Patrick got perfect teeth. Oh, yeah, I found this It's kind of freaking me out. I don't know what it is, but it looks important. Thanks, Patrick. I tell you what, all that running around has left me pooped. Why don't you continue on for a bit? Yes! Yes! Okay, we get to play as Patrick. Oh, Let's freaking go, boy! All right, I want to see what Patrick can actually do. He better not do no one, two thing. Oh, he can use his belly. Okay, he can use his big-ass belly. And then you can do a belly flop. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. Here we go. Boom. Dude, that's dope. I like it. This is a throw fruit. Patrick can pick up the throw fruit and throw them. Press the right click to pick up the nearby throw fruit. Okay. Got it. Ooh. And then we just go ba-bam. I like it. I dig it. Okay, Patrick. Not as cool as SpongeBob, but you know what? I love Patrick. So I can't jump while I have the watermelon in my hand. Bro, that's nuts. That's my nuts. Like, that's legit my nuts right now. What do I do here? Do I do this? Boom! Nope. Don't do that. I stand here, 
And then the bullseye right there. <gasps> dude, that's sick. Dude, that's sick. I like that a lot. Oh, no, dude. Not this again. At least I'm not using my damn tongue. All right. Well, we're just using our pad ass. We are using our pink pad ass, and we are doing the most. We are doing the most. Oh, my God. I can't hit that. Jeez, dude. Come on. Leave me alone. That killed me? Bro. No, oh, Patty's a thickums, though. One more time for the homie DJ Screw. Don't hit the ones that are on fire, Jay. Come on. You know better than that. You know better than that. You've been knowing that. You're a pro gamer. You're not a pro gamer. There we go. Who's this guy? I have no idea who that asshole is. Actually, I do. Is he the guy with the accent? No, you know what? I have no idea. Well, what am I even talking about? SpongeBob can jump up walls when this symbol appears. And I'm assuming that Patrick can't do it. No? Okay. Well, there's a bus stop thing right here so I can switch between guys. It's actually real cool. All right. Shit sweet. I do like SpongeBob's character a little bit more. I don't know. I feel like he has a better range of motion. I don't know. Does that even make sense? What I just said? He has a better range of motion. I feel like he just has more hops and he just has more like hang time. Oh, dude. King Jellyfish is right there. I remember that episode. <laughs> <laughs> I knew the King Jellyfish was big, but who I remember knew this he episode had such too. Voice? <laughs> oh, man. So they do have references to the show. This is so sick. I say so sick. It's so sick that I'm, my S's are Z's. How do I beat you? How do I beat you? Oh, I wait till you stop being. Slap him again? Well, I'm about to clap this fool's cheeks. <laughs> All right. So I jump when he's about to electrify the ground. Okay, my first boss fight. Guys, I'm about to ace this. I'm about to ace attorney this. I'm about to take that, take that objection, that ass. Come on. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Blah, blah. Did I not blah, blah? I don't think I blah, blah, guys. I, I didn't blah, blah. He blah, blah me. I didn't blah, blah him. So once he goes down, then I slap him up. I clap his cheeks. One, two, three. Come on. Clap it, clap it. Clapped it. Clap those cheeks. Finishing slap. Okay, you guys want to see the finishing slap? You guys want to see it? Like Alright, you guys already know what I'm about to do. You guys already know what I'm about to do. Come on, finishing slap. Is he birthing those fools? You guys, we're witnessing a live jellyfish birth. <laughs> cover your ears, cover your eyes. Hide your kids. Whoa, shoot. Don't fall, don't fall. Kill him. Come on, go on the ground. I need this bitch to go on the ground one time for the home. How is he not going on the ground? There you go. Slap him! Got him. It's too easy, bro. <laughs> Poor guy. So that's for Squidward, right? Like he's gonna rub that all over his body, or can we rub it on him? <laughs> he packed his suitcase and left. What the hell, dude? <laughs> Get the jelly. Got it. Okay. So now we just go back to Squidward. All right, there you are, Squidward. Oh, yeah. Oh, that feels so much better. Anything for my best friend, Squidward. Can I rub some on? Um, what if I just gave you this? A hard spatula? Bro, you about to give Spongy a hard spatula if he rubs some on you. So we got nine spatulas, though. I need one more in order to access that taxi. Okay, let's go back to Bikini Bottom. Travel to downtown Bikini Bottom. Let's check it out, guys. Why not? Before we end today's episode, let's check downtown Bikini Bottom. And I want you guys to let me know if you want me to downtown do another episode of this. Downtown Bikini Bottom. Once a bustling metropolis. Now a debris-covered crater. <laughs> I think I remember that bank. When SpongeBob was like, Spongebob, give me all your money. The robots are destroying downtown Bikini Bottom. And then he opened up a bank evacuate. account and got a credit card, I think. <laughs> All right, I remember but it's going to take a while to get all this oh, dust. Dude. I'm reliving all these SpongeBob moments. I should rewatch the show. I should Not watch them with you. Mason. I told you guys about a couple episodes that I really like, but one episode that sticks out to me that I don't think that I like very much. Wait, what's happening here? What? <gasps> oh, I was supposed to turn into a SpongeBob? What the heck? Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. My bad. Before I tell you guys my thing, let me roll up in here. I did not know I was supposed to turn to a sponge ball. 
<laughs> me, 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 me. All right, you know what? Since nobody's talking, I'll tell you guys about an episode that I didn't really like. It's when SpongeBob got sick. He had the suds. I don't know why. I didn't really like that episode except the ending. When the guy at the end, the doctor, he was like, here's your lollipop. I say that. I've said that in a few like videos that I've done before. Here's your lollipop. But yeah, I don't know why I didn't like that episode that much. You guys should let me know some of your favorite SpongeBob episodes and the ones that you didn't really like in the comment section down below. I definitely like the old school ones. The one where SpongeBob doesn't really look well drawn. Because I feel like the new artwork of SpongeBob, it doesn't really hit, you know? It hits different. It doesn't really feel like SpongeBob no more. It feels like the new generation of SpongeBob, and I don't mess with that. All right, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Plain SpongeBob is cool, and just like the nostalgia of it is cool. But in terms of like gameplay, I feel like it's getting a little repetitive right now. Like I'm a SpongeBob, but low key feel like playing with my own balls more than being a SpongeBob right now, and that's no cap. Like I've never capped in my entire life. That's a lie. That's a cap. That's actually cap right there. But let me see what we can do over here. Oh, Gary. Gary Bear. Yes, thanks for noticing. I have been working out. Oh yeah, one quote I always say is like, Gary and Jerry are different from Larry. Meow. Or did I say that right? Not I remember it was Gary and Larry are different from Jerry. Some shit like that. Meow. Oh, that's the entrance to the rooftops, which leads to the lighthouse? Aha, uh -huh. there's okay. another golden spatula. Well, all that matters is that I a golden really spatula is right there. What do you mean, meow? Oh, meow. wait. I can oh, go to Sandy? Oh, that gap looks big. Okay, no. I'm okay go. let's go, man. Oh, we gotta clap Sandy's okay. cheeks. We gotta go up there. We gotta clap Sandy's cheeks one top of the one time. So yeah, this is basically all it is, guys. I just keep platforming up here, and I can switch between SpongeBob and Patrick. Low key. Whoa! What? Hey! Hold on. Hold on. I didn't even meet Sandy in the game yet, and then all of a sudden I can be Sandy Cheeks. Bro. Okay. All right. I'll take it. I will take it. All right, guys. I'm going to end this episode of SpongeBob here. I don't know if I'm going to make another episode. I kind of just wanted to try it out because it just released. And I was like, you know what? Let me play it for the nostalgia. Let me see if it's actually fun. It is. It's fun. It's a cool way to kill time, I guess. There's not much you can do because I feel like it's repetitive. You play as, what, three characters? Maybe more? I don't know if we could play as Squidward, but we could play as Sandy, Patrick, SpongeBob. And basically, we're just collecting things and collecting spatulas. But I think I'm going to head back. I'm going to head back to Bikini Bottom. Let me see what else we can check out before I end this, actually. Because this game is fun. <laughs> it's fun. I don't know if it's fun for you guys to watch. Let me know how you guys felt about this video. Would you like to see another episode? If you do, make sure you guys give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude. <laughs>